Hello there. So let me just run you through quickly how you might separate some of your data in Google Sheets if you're using Dexterous. So I have a situation here where I have all this data here. So I've got HP abilities and types for different cards, but I actually want to see them. Um, I want to separate them out when they get into Dexterous because let's imagine that you want to have a different layout for your fire and your ice and your plant um, cards. How do you separate this data out if you also want to view it here all in the nice one place all together? So let me show you how. So you can just create a new sheet down the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to give this a name. So I'll call this plant sheet or whatever. Really, you can call it whatever you like. Um, and I'm going to create a table in here in this plant that looks back at this sheet here, but then filters just for the plant card data. So let me go back into the plant and I can hit insert. I want a table, give a table. And now it's saying, where do I want to look? Um, so what is the data range? Where should this table look? You can just click this here, select data range. And it's actually got a suggestion one. It's, it's figured out that I've got data over here. Um, so I can go with that um, or you can see there that's the format it comes in. So you need to refer to the sheet and the exclamation mark. Um, you need that exclamation mark because it's looking at a different sheet than the current active one. Or so you could actually type in that range right here, or you could just click into the sheet that you want and select it like that. Select the data that you want and hit OK. So I've got the data range all set there. And now it's saying, where do you want this table? Well, I want it in the... If I go back to the plant sheet in the in this sheet here, the existing sheet, and where should I put it? You can again, you can type in the range, or you can just click here and create the range. So I will create it. Actually, sorry, it, a table comes in and it comes in at the top leftmost cell. You can just click that cell there, plant sheet A1, and it will generate it out to the right and down from that cell. So Notice it does have the quotes there, but you can just click it here and it'll generate it for you. So click yes and create. Now I've got this table. Um, and if I just make this screen a little bit bigger here, if I click off somewhere else, I can edit this table by clicking this little edit button here. It's grayed out because I'm actually in it right now. If I click that, if I, sorry, if I click this X, then how do I get back into here? I can just click this edit again and bring it up. So there's nothing actually in here yet because even though it's looking at sheet one, I haven't told it what data to pull in. So we just want all the rows essentially. So I'm just going to click add HP, add abilities, add type. So now all the data has been added. It's doing some funky things over here with numbers. If there's duplicate numbers, it, it kind of says, oh, do you want that or not? And we do want it. So just hit repeat row labels on any there, and then we get those files come in. It's also showing these totals, which is maybe handy at some point, but I find it kind of annoying. I just am going to get rid of these show totals. Okay, this is looking like the data that we want to see here. There's all kinds of other things you can do, but essentially you want these repeat row labels and no totals on. The last step is to filter this by plant because we're in the plant sheet over here. So if I say, come down here to filters, get my head out of the way, add filters, uh, we want to filter by type because that's the, the easiest column here. So I want to filter by type and it's actually created a filter here. This is actually what the filter is, this little filter here. You can have heaps of different ones if you want, but I just want to untick these ones. I'm just filtering by plant and hit okay what should happen immediately is that I should only end up with the plant cards. What's really cool about this is that if I come back to here um, and I add a new card, for example, um, so this is plant guy ability three or whatever, and I call him plant. Now, this won't actually come through because if you remember, the data range that we we're looking at was just this. So what I would suggest is when you look at the data range, you change it to be just the whole of sheet one. So how do we do that? Ah, yes, here we go. So I could just say A1 
to C99, for example. And now, there we go, it's actually pulled in that extra plant, dude, because it's looking further down. Um, what is this doing? No, it's just suggesting, hey, look, it's just telling me, hey, you've only got data up to C8. That's fine. I don't care. Um, so now we've got this plant sheet. It's pulling in just the plant data from our main sheet. Now we need to get this into Dextrous. So what you can do is hit File, Share, Publish to Web. We don't want uh, web page. We want the CSV data, but we don't want it of the entire document. We just want it of the plant sheet. That way we don't get all the cards. So we just want it of the plant sheet. Great. Select the link, copy it. Now over here in Dextrous, um, I've made a component, but you could just make a component the normal way you would. But essentially in the ice, in the ice guys one, whatever layout that's using, you just want to import CSVs, copy it in, copy that link I just pasted into here. Import yes, I'll import all that data, and I should just have the plant guys here. Except I've imported it onto the wrong one. Of course I have. So I'll call that plant, and then you do the same with the ice and fire. The really sweet thing is that once you've set these pivot tables up, you don't need to do anything else as long as you've got the this looking down further enough in the row. I can add a fire one, for example, fire ability to call it fire, give it a whatever value here, doesn't really matter. Um, now this will save and I've done the same thing over here, although of course I've looking at the wrong range there. Yes, I'm happy with that range. Okay, so that's all set up. I've already put the link into the fire one. Um, this is just me actually playing around with other stuff. So now if I hit import all CSVs, it should look at all of them. And here you go. I get my all my three fire guys come in. So once you set it up, it's really nice and it will just filter all the data before it gets into Dextrous because we've posted in pasted in those different CSV links. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know.